Cafe Lunette is only a stone's throw away from the Halifax Harbour, but you might be forgiven for thinking the closest body of water is the Seine. The ambience of the restaurant, with its art deco design and jazzy tunes, is like a true Parisian bistro. Its culinary offerings and wine lists pay homage to traditional French fare such as beef bourguignon and classic French wine regions. In this episode of East Coast Food and Drink, I discover the people working behind the scenes that made Café Lugonette one of Canada's top 10 best new restaurants. Sitting here with Andrew Thisby, who's the general manager of Café Lunette. So, Andrew, Tell me a little bit about Cafe Lunette. What makes it special for the Halifax restaurant scene? Thank you, Mark. Uh, nice to have you here. Uh, Cafe Lunette is something special. We're at French Bistro doing timeless bistro classics, uh, taking you from outside of Halifax right into a Parisian cafe, uh, doing cafe service in the morning to a bistro lunch to bistro supper, live jazz, and just really taking you away from Halifax into Paris. Yeah, and amazingly, we got I've got some coffee in front of me. I've got some wine, as I like to have wine. Uh, so if you're coming in the morning, what's that kind of morning experience? Come join us in the morning. You're going to see a high-level coffee program. You're going to see our pastries, our croissant, pain au chocolat, almond deans done by our amazing pastry team. Moving into lunch, you're going to see those bistro classics like beef tartare, escargot, steak free. And what I love, too, is about the wine program. So you have a nice concept, an interesting concept for the city for the wine program. Tell me a little bit about what makes it onto the wine list. So our wine list is roughly 90% French with 10% Canadian. Should really showcase in those great Canadian wines that we do have. But also our wine list is from nice approachable all the way to a nice like Chateau Palmer, uh, hitting all those sub appellations and all those great varieties, those great French grape varieties. What I love is this little wine. And I think what the nice thing about looking over the wine list here is that there's a diversity of the French terroir and one of these great wines, which is Cote de Berg. And this wine, I guess you serve it by the glass? Yes, uh, we do. Uh, so it's our Cote de Berg, uh, you know, nice blend. Uh, it really punches over its uh, over its weight, as I uh, mentioned before, um, but great with our, you know, beef bourguignon, which you're gonna try in a moment here. Yeah, amazing. So who comes here? Is it like date night or do you, who's, what's the crowd? Our demographic is is all over. You got people coming in for the uh, for dates, as you mentioned, or celebrating birthday parties or bridal parties. Uh, we do a great brunch Saturday, Sunday, so you see a big demographic for those who really do enjoy a uh, nice high end brunch. Uh, so you have business tr- meetings during the week. It's it's a bit of everything. The demographic amazing. So I'm gonna drink a little more of this wine, and then I'm waiting for some beef bourguignon. So thanks for having me. Cheers. Now I'm sitting with Chef Vanessa Boulanger, and I have to say that's a Good last name to have for when you're cooking at a French bistro. So tell me a bit about the cuisine. You know, what are you trying to convey to your customers? Well, we want you to come in and feel like you're sitting down in a Paris bistro. We want you to feel special and have bites of these really rich, beautiful dishes. Yeah, and we have a beautiful one in front of me. And, you know, I I assume that you want to incorporate local too. So how do you do that? So we try and go as local as possible, meaning we try and get local produce and we even go as far as getting half cows from Vessel Meat and we use every piece of that cow to make everything you can find on any of our dishes in the restaurant. Vessel Meats, very cool, they're awesome. Dish looks awesome, so what do I have in front of me? You have the Beth Bourguignon in front of you. Now it looks a little different than I think of uh, traditional Beth Bourguignon, so what's what's your version, what's the difference? So when you think of Beuf Bourguignon, traditionally you think of a big pot of like a big rich stew. Here we like to just make it a little more fancy, a little more, a little richer. So I can eat with a fork and knife? Yes, that'll fall apart and melt in your mouth. Well, we're going to test that out. So Juan, let's see. So let's see. It is one. It is uh, tender. Two, it's pretty freaking delicious. And three... I'm going to bet it's going to go really well with this wine. And it does. So cheers to Vanessa. Cheers. Now that I'm back from Cafe Lunette, I think back to the great hospitality provided by Andrew, his staff, and Chef Vanessa. I also think back about the cuisine. Honest, simple, and French in origin. It inspired me to create another dish that's inspired by a classic Parisian bistro menu, and that's steak tartare. So the keys are going to be good, local, grain-fed beef. Nothing bad in there, just uh, a family farm-raised cattle. 
and then adding things like cornichon, capers, grainy mustard, shallot, little vinegar, and olive oil. It's that easy. To a bowl, add one shallot minced, add two tablespoons grainy mustard, add one tablespoon chopped capers, add two tablespoons chopped cornichon or gherkin pickles, add three tablespoons of olive oil, add a splash of red wine vinegar, mix to combine, add 12 ounces chopped tenderloin or top round, mix to combine. Place a mold or a can that's open on both ends on a plate. Place the beef in the mold or can, gently press down. Garnish the plate with toast points, microgreens, pickled red onion. Top the beef with an egg yolk and season with salt and pepper. As you can see, I've just broken the egg yolk, getting this tartare all ready for me to try. So I'm gonna get a little of the beef, a little of the egg. I'm gonna put it on one of my toast points. I'm going to give this a try. So if you're in the downtown area, you want classic French fare, be sure to go to La Cafe Lunette on the Halifax waterfront, or you can just make it at your home with good quality Nova Scotia beef. Mm. And what you want to wash it down with is a great French wine. Classic pairing is Beaujolais, a red wine. But I think Alsatian Riesling works really well too.